There's still no solutions that the U.S. gets closer to hitting its debt limit. John Lawrence explains what's holding up a deal. Republican leaders in the House say the U.S. has more than 31 trillion reasons to tighten the purse strings. Our national debt is too high, far too high. And the problem is getting worse, not better. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy previewed a plan that calls for lifting the debt ceiling for one year. It'll contain spending cuts and revenue raisers that he says will limit Washington spending, save taxpayers money, and grow the economy. President Biden has maxed out the nation's credit card. He's done it by re reckless spending. And here we're going to be rolling out a plan to address that problem. The White House blasted House Republicans in a tweet saying they're, quote, holding the economy hostage by using the debt ceiling as a way to trigger spending cuts. I'll be blunt. If Speaker McCarthy continues in this direction, we are headed to default. During an appearance on Fox News Monday, McCarthy wouldn't say if he had enough votes in the narrowly divided chamber to raise the debt limit. Now, while there's no official date as for when the U.S. could possibly default if the debt ceiling isn't boosted, officials say it could happen within months. Republicans should work with Democrats in good faith to avoid default together, just as we did under President Trump. Just as what President Reagan talked about. No blackmail. No brinksmanship, no default.